Welcome to the WIPO IPOS IP Awardee interview. My name is Rico. Not too long from now, you will hear three companies who've done an amazing job. So before we do that, let's find out a little bit what the awards are all about. The background, simply put. The WIPO IPOS IP Awards 2019 is the preeminent accolade that celebrates companies that have achieved outstanding enterprise growth in innovation transformation and commercialization through intellectual property that's IP and intangible assets IA the awards are jointly organized by IPOS and the World Intellectual Property Organization WIPO for short the IP agency of the United Nations and joining me now we have the good people from Razor Asia Pacific we have Miss Elaine Tan director legal now I just want to say that They've won for themselves not one, but three awards. And let me tell you what they are. They've got for themselves the IPOS Award for IP Champions, WIPO Users Trophy, and also WIPO IP Enterprise Trophy as well. Elaine, first and foremost, welcome and congratulations. Thank you. How does it feel to literally sweep all three awards? Wow. Well, we are incredibly thankful to the IP Awards um, Judging Committee for this honour. Um, we are honoured and humbled to receive all three awards and I think it's an incredible testimony of the excellent work that Team Razor does as a team. That's the main thing, as a team. There we go. Now, why did you take part in the awards and at the same time, what do you think really wowed the judges? Um, I think we believe that we are an innovative company and IP is front and centre in everything we do. Um, our motto, for gamers, by gamers, is the creed that we live by. We don't put anything out there that we don't want to buy. And I believe that spurs the innovation. And we also took part because we think that it will give an impetus to homegrown companies to think that, look, you too can be a global MNC. Tell us more about what inspired Razor to get started. So we're going back to, to the good old days, as they say. And why is it that the first product was a gaming mouse? That's very interesting, I thought. Well, Razor was co-founded uh, way back then by our um, Tan Min Liang. Our, he's our co-founder. And he's known as our CEO and chief gamer, right? He's... Um, foresaw back then that there is a need for a competitive gaming mice to take over the industry and with that we have now taken over the gaming peripherals, we've got gaming laptops and gaming phones and we've started the whole gaming um, consumer electronics industry. Trust me, I have quite a few of your <laughs> products in my house, yes. The green color headphones, my kid, oh man, he went on and on and I bought it for him. So, back to the question, why does an established brand like Razer play so much importance in uh, R&D and continuous innovation? Our main customers being gamers are very, very uh, particular in what they buy. They're tech savvy and they're highly, highly discerning. They only want the best because that gives them the competitive advantage and that pushes us to innovate. So, continuation to that, where does Razer get its inspiration from for its new products and inventions and what else can we look forward to from Razer in the near future? Well, we derive innovation for our products from a variety of sources. Um, we have design centers all over the world um, in all our various offices and the categories of innovators are not closed. I mean, it, ideas can come from your sales team, your design team or anyone. I mean, intellectual property being products of the intellect, anyone with a brain can come up with intellectual ideas. Absolutely, yes. So, um, so we are constantly innovating. We also work with partners. We also work with gamers to find out, expert gamers, um, competitive gamers to find out what they want. And that, you know, are the variety of sources where we get our ideas from. So, let's say we have a company and they would like some advice. So what advice would you give businesses that are looking to innovate and leverage on their IP? I, w I think the advice that we would give to new companies is that although protecting and registering IP rights may at first glance seem expensive and prohibitively so, but it's an important aspect that should not be neglected. And if not neglected early, it can be something that can um, give you the impetus to take over the world. 
Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is Miss Elaine Tander. These are the good people from Razor Asia Pacific. And once again, they won not one, not two, but three awards. Congratulations to you and the team. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. My pleasure.